Hello guys, welcome back to the One Auto channel. I'm here today with my good buddy Neil. Hiya. Neil is a qualified EV uh, technician, has all the certification. Um, I'm going to be doing my course um, probably towards the, uh, the beginning of the new year, all being well. He's brought around with him his Lexus CT200 Hybrid. So this video is we're going to show you how to safely disconnect um, the, the high voltage system so you can work on the vehicle. Um, I've gone out and got all prepared. Um, I've gone out and bought my Laser Tools Electric EV Safety Work Boots and they are um, good up to a thousand volts. Um, I'll leave links in the description for some of these. And I also went out and bought basically the basic kit. This is the Laser Hybrid Disconnect and Shutdown Kit. So in here you've got your insulated gloves, you've got your uh, voltage tester, a timer, you've got padlock to lock out your keys or lock out the, um, the safety tab if your vehicle's got one of those. So as I say, we'll be using that, link's in the description below. So we'll get cracking and we'll show you uh, what to do on this Lexus. Yeah, what I like to do before I do anything is check the codes before and after. Yeah. Just to make sure we're not disturbing anything on the vehicle. Good idea, yeah, yeah okay. So this is going to talk to the hybrid control system. There we go. So straight away, that's that's come up there with no errors. So you happy with that then? Yep, that's fine. Cool. Let's crack on. Okay, guys. Before we go any further, I just want to point out: um, know the rules and regulations of your country before you attempt any of this. I mean, let's face it. At the end of the day, you should be qualified anyway. You're normally qualified in the country of your residence. Um, but make sure because that is imperative. Um, so Neil, we've uh, checked for the codes and there's, we, we're happy there's nothing in there at the minute. What's the next thing we need to do? Next thing to do is get the keys, yeah. the car, and put them into a safe box and get okay. them well clear away from the vehicle. Okay, so we can do that um, in the box that the, all the gear comes with, the laser tools box. So we'll put them in there. Yeah. We'll pop them in there, we'll shut it down, and uh, in the kit we get the padlock as well. This padlock I think can be used when you've got the low voltage uh, service plug you can pull out, you can padlock it as well. And you get this do, do not start. Um, and on here you can uh, actually have equipment locked out by uh, your name and the date if you're in a workshop environment. So I can just put that through there, pop that in the padlock and we'll get rid of it. I'll take those away. Yeah, cool. You're going to check now if the keys are far enough away from the car so it won't, won't recognise, yeah? Yes. Okay, so how do we do that? So a quick check, we'll just literally press the power button on yep. the vehicle. Okay. And it'll pop up on the screen. Okay. And there's key not detected. Right, what we've just done, um, in the kit we get some signage, some high voltage signage. Um, we've gone around the vehicle, so we've put one there, we've got some on the side windows and on the windscreen. Uh, just in case anybody's going to come wandering over, they know to stay away while we're working on it. And um, I think nearly in a workshop environment we have mm -hmm. to barrier off the area, That's don't right. we? That's yep. um, because we don't want anybody getting hurt. So um, what we need to do now, the key is locked away, um, the ca car cannot detect it. We need to disconnect then the 12 volt system now, don't we? That's it, right. Normal 12 volts that uh, every car will, will have anyway. Um, and that's buried under here, so we'll get that stripped out. Okay, so next we have to, uh, we've got to the 12 volt battery. This isn't gonna hurt us. Nope. So uh, we need to disconnect uh, that 12 volt Thing. You've got the spanner there, Neil. Yep. It's just a negative terminal, isn't it? That's right, yeah, just the negative side off. Okay. And then once that's off, we need to keep that lead well away so that it's not going to go back onto the terminal. Um, so we need a rubber, rubber glove. Your little tip is put a little rubber, rubber glove on it and took it well out of the way. That's it. That's, that's not going to go anywhere. Um, What's the next step, Neil? Next thing is to get all our safety gear on because we want to disconnect the service plug. Right, okay. We've just got to do a few checks on our on our gloves and everything. Right. The high voltage protection gloves we wear first. Okay. A quick check we do on these. We've got to roll them up. Yeah. We're just checking for any holes. Yeah. If we squeeze them up and they hold pressure. Yeah. There's, there's no, no leaks. leaks. There's no voltage can leak through the glove or right. anything. Because even the smallest pinhole could attract that. Yeah. Yeah. We've got to be as safe as we can to yeah. make sure everything's completely sealed up. Yeah. Same with this glove. Make sure there's no, no air in there. Yeah, that's good as well. So it's nice and nice yeah. good. Okay. We also wear some safety goggles. Right. Okay. Protect your eyes. Yeah. 
And another extra precaution, we have some gloves over the top of the other gloves. Okay, so these are your personal gloves. These are your these personal are gloves, yeah, they've been well yeah. used. Yeah, <laughs> leather high <laughs> voltage gloves just to protect those they're ones. They're just a standard set of gloves, but yeah. they're just there to protect the other gloves, so cool. you don't get the, cause okay. any split or any damage on these when you're working on the car. Okay. The laser do these as well, so I'll, I'll find a link, I'll put that in the description as well. Um, so that's it, right, let's crack on. Okay. Okay, we've just got our gloves on, we're ready to go, we've got our ride protection on, now we're going to disconnect the service plug. Right, now we're going to disconnect the service plug, yeah. just slide this across here, and swing this round and pull it out. And that's it. That's it. Now we've got the service plug disconnected. Yeah. I like to keep it in my pocket. Okay. Just right. to keep it nice and safe on me and no one else can... No one else is going to grab it and stick it back right. in when you're working at the front. That's right. right. Or you can lock it away in your toolbox right. and keep Good it idea. nice and safe that way. It's entirely up to where you want to do it. Awesome. So, so this... This, let me just show you this. This is just, um, it's just really, it's just a loop then, isn't That's it? That's right, yeah. Yeah, okay, with a, with a terminal there on either side. Awesome, there you okay. go, stick that in the pocket. Pocket the way. And then we've got to, got to wait now, haven't we? That's right, it's got 10 minutes to count down. Okay, so we set, the, set the 10 minutes on the, uh, on the timer. There it goes, counting away, and then we'll come back when that's done. Right, the timer's running there. Why are we waiting 10 minutes? Basically, we're just waiting for the all the voltage in the car to dissipate itself. Right, so any if, voltage that's in, in any capacitors. That's then? it. Yeah, just to make sure the capacitors are all drained away and it's safe, making it safe for us to check. Okay. And, all on right. the vehicle. And then that's before we go into any of the high voltage stuff. That's right. right. Okay, we'll leave that running then. Okay, now we've uh, pulled the service plug. Mm -hmm. um, what do we need to do now with equipment-wise? Okay. Right, before we start checking for any high, high voltage checks yep. on the front of the, of the inverter, we have to make sure our test equipment is working fine. Right, okay. And to do that, we go for a good known voltage source, which is our 12 volt battery here. Yes. So we'll apply this to this to ensure this is working okay. Okay, and we should get a light on That's there. That's right, it should light up red on here. Excellent, right, okay, we'll do okay. that now. No problem. Just for my own peace of mind, I'd like to use my own. Cat 3 voltmeter just to make sure that everything's all okay. Okay, so we do a voltage check on the battery. There we go, 12.56 volts. So uh, it shows that our equipment's good. Next thing we're going to take the inverter covers off to okay. access the inverter covers so we can check the voltages in the inverter to okay. make sure the battery's not supplying any more power to the vehicle. It's completely isolated everything. Right, okay then. Okay, Neil, you're at the front of the car, you've taken off the plastic covers um, up to the inverter. What's next? Next, now we've just got the service plug. We want to check to see if there's any power from the battery, which is these battery cables coming into the inverter. Yeah. So we'll double check if there's any power here. Okay. If there's no, obviously there's no power there, the car's completely safe to work on. Yeah, okay. So we're going to take this cover off. Right here. We've taken all the other bolts out previously, That's so we've just left one in there. I was just still wearing all my protection gear. Yeah. Keep that on. Okay, lovely. Now you get this voltage tester. Yeah. We're using one hand. So we've, you're told in the UK just to use one hand, aren't we? Yeah. That's right. I'm going to double check in. You see if there's any voltage, which is nothing there at all. Perfect. Um, just as a safety one. I'll yeah. take my own meter as well. Right here. Put this one to the bolts. And we've got zero volts. Zero volts, perfect. So that's proved that all the capacitors are discharged in the vehicle and it's safe to work on. Excellent. Okay, Neil, we've uh, tested at the front and mm -hmm. we're completely dead. There's no voltage going to that's the it. inverter. Yep. Um, so now you were telling me as part of the live dead live sequence on the test equipment, you just want to check to make sure we were getting correct readings. That's it. So we proved that uh, that was working before we started. That's right, yeah. And then we took a reading. We want to make sure that reading is not a false that's reading. It. Yep, right. so it's good to double check again to make sure our test equipment is working okay. Okay, awesome. We go to the battery. And yep, yep. it's lighting up fine, so we've got a good voltage there. Okay. We'll just do it with the meter again to make sure. Yep, check with your meter. There we go, and you've got your battery voltage. That's just testing that, that equipment's working fine, and we're safe to work on the vehicle. Excellent. Okay, so now um, potentially we've worked on the vehicle and the uh, service plug can go back in now. That's right, okay.
easy as that. And then the only thing now, I think, is just reconnect the 12 volt battery. That's right, yep. Okay, so we've got the keys back out of the locked and safe place. Yeah, and we're just now uh, going to just make sure it all powers up. Okay, so we're just going to make sure that the ready light comes up on the dashboard. So yeah. Put on the brake. And there it is. And there we go. Okay, guys, uh, I recommend that don't do this on your own vehicles. You must, must, must be qualified. That's why I've invited Neil here. He's fully qualified in this stuff. Um, he's had many years' experience on electric and hybrid vehicles. Um, Check, check your service data as well. Um, I mean, this is Neil's own personal uh, Lexus. He knows where all this stuff is anyway. But uh, I suggest you um, subscribe to Auto Data and uh, Haynes or whatever you've got um, just to find out where your service plugs are. And uh, each manufacturer does vary slightly in the, the, their process. Um, but um, I think we've covered everything there. That's Neil. It, yeah. 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 So uh, anyway, thanks a lot. Thanks okay. for coming along. No Cheers, buddy. Yeah. Thank you very okay. much. And guys, I uh, hope the video was of use to you. If it was, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so and give that bell notification a ring. Cheers, guys. Okay. Cheers.